1977, a man with an idea and a love for J.R. Tolkien's books decided to take his passion to the next level. Dagger Here was created. Dagger Here is a role-playing game based on Tolkien's Middle-earth where players become their favorite character and participate in recreating a realm of medieval and mystic warfare. The idea quickly spread, and now there are over 100 chapters in the U.S., including the Rockford group, Pointed Heart. What is it that attracts people to Dagger Here? For some, it is a love for Tolkien's books. For others, it's just an escape from the real world. Whatever your reasons are, it's always sure to be an action-packed and compelling experience. You have seen Lord of the Rings, and they live it. Many people play Dagger here for various reasons. We spoke to some players about their interests in the game. Uh, my name is Cyrilay, or Rebecca Glan. I got into it because I'm a huge Tolkien fan, and I like physical contact sports. My Dagger here name is Corin Naelo and my real name is Tim Brusky. I got started in DAG uh, a while ago. I was at a function in uh, Carpenter Park in Carpentersville, and I saw the local chapter there fighting and was very interested, so I went over and asked questions, and then I got hooked. Unquestionably, there is a history behind Dagger here. Could you tell us a little about how Dagger here got started? I got started in 77, I believe now. A guy by the name, I know him as uh, Aritar, was a big Tolkien fan, and he wanted to make something that his friends could participate in, they could celebrate Tolkien, and get some exercise at the same time. So he started putting pillows on sticks, and they started hitting each other, but it caught on. And then they started making more, more rules to keep safety in the picture, as well as playability and uh, eventually groups started springing up all over the place and now we've got thousands of members across the country, across the world, and events almost every month. So obviously, with such a big group, there are safety issues. What has Dagger here done to make sure it is safe and fun? The main one is no headshots uh, as far as melee weapons go. We test all of our weapons before they go on the field, and we usually retest them between three and six months or any time that we know they've taken a lot of stress. We do have a bunch of veterans out here too looking for people who are swinging too hard if their attitudes are getting a rise out of them, and they may be a danger to other players on the field. We don't allow that. We want everybody to have fun, and that's why we have foam, so people can come back, but they're still fighting. The players of Dagger here know the dangers of combat and are prepared to act in case of an emergency. We'll normally have a cell phone available uh, so we can call the paramedics if need be. I know a lot of people, uh, myself, I have a first aid kit in my bag. When I was in the Army, I was a combat lifesaver, so I can at least stabilize people until the real guys get here. Normally, when someone gets injured, if it's serious enough that they need attention, the Herald will stop the battle, and then everyone does what they need to do, either gets out of the way or goes to help the person. Dagger here isn't just hitting and slashing one another. There are many intricate rules that have been set to add realistic detail to the game. If you lose two limbs to a uh, slashing or hacking weapon, you're dead. If you get a torso shot from, uh, from anything, you're dead. You can also take headshots from missile weapons. If you don't have a helmet on, they go straight to your head, which is death. And then there's certain other rules for stabbing weapons, for getting missile weapons to the limbs, and they can be hanging at your sides. Technically, if you have all four limbs pierced, you can still be alive. You're just a torso on the field. Shields can only be broken by two solid hits from a red weapon, which are your big pole arms, big swords, halberds, what have you. Otherwise, they can't be broken. Could you tell us about the different types of weapons? Blue is your basic sword, mace, anything that's just swung with one hand. Anything you, you would think that would be assigned to a regular foot soldier in the Middle Ages. Um, you have the reds, which are the pole arms. You have greens, which can be anything as far as single like spears. Or you could have a green tip on the end of a red sword, a blue sword, and they also count for javelins. Javelins and arrows classify as yellow weapons. They can be thrown. Javelins can also be a melee weapon as well. 
and the last group is white, which is rocks, and they only count to the head. What if someone doesn't have his or her own weapons? Most realms will have loner weapons that new people can use, and then uh, once I felt comfortable with what I wanted to fight with, then I bought my own. And then after that, I started making weapons since I had a grounding in what a weapon should look like. 